Hello, this is Shannon and Bradley from Strong Enough to Be in Homestead. Uh, today we've been keeping busy on painting the chicken coop. We had to cut it for a long time and it's needing some repainting. We had to make our OSB board. We didn't build it like this. We got it like that and, and it's was kind of flaking like that, so I took a hole and been scraping it like this. And I took all the loose stuff off, and so it was able to paint better. And that's what we've been doing and trying to preserve it better. We got this main side done all uh, painted up and even the other bottom board I had to put on got the new uh, egg laying boxes painted but I just uh, want to help anyone who uh, had a, a building made an OSB board to try to get those flakes off is take a hole and, and scrape on it, and that's what we did, did and worked pretty good. And you can see the flakes that was on the ground here. Now we have to get them off, but, but we've been doing a lot of work on this chicken coop. It was, this side here was almost, well, it was touching on the ground, and they had to jack it up and put a uh, Four by fours underneath there, and I didn't have any that went all the, the length, so I just uh, put where they overlap each other and took a two by twelve on a and screwed them together like this and put the putting them setting on it. It ain't gonna go anywhere. I've seen other people do do that, and then on the outside edge, they just had nails, and you can see where the boards kind of they was pulling out and I had to put these boards up and I put star bit screws three and a half screws all the way through here to make sure they'll stay and I I don't like putting things together by nails and who we, who we got this from they did and then I put the boards on the outside here to, to uh, uphold it together better on the bottom and I went on each stud on the walls and then the then the outside board on the floor joist helped tie it together better but uh, I just I just want to show you what we've been doing and subscribe to us and thank you bye